There are tens of thousands of UAW auto workers in the South. And they just won life-changing contracts because they didn't wait around to see what would happen. They didn't fall for the boss's lies. They didn't let the boss divide them. They took action. The vote in advance takes place May 13th through the 17th. In response to the union news, Mercedes says it has a proven record of competitively compensating its workers and providing them with additional benefits. The company says it believes open and direct communication with its workers is the best, best path forward. Hey folks, Dale Jackson here for Yellowhammer Now, and it is time for us to talk about the United Auto Workers and the attempt to unionize the plant in Vance, Alabama. Now, it looks like that's probably going to happen. I don't think there's any question uh, about it at this point. The only question I have is where in the hell is the state of Alabama at on this? This could be a massive, massive problem, and people have been speaking out about this, but they're all Republican politicians. That's not going to get the job done. That is not going to get the job done. You're not going to be able to convince a bunch of auto workers and not to unionize by running a bunch of Republican politicians out. I don't know what the answer is, actually. I don't know how you reach these people and speak to them and tell them, hey, this decision you're making, even if you believe that it's going to help you make more money, that's great. But that's not going to help anyone else. It's going to stop auto workers from coming into the state. And some are suggesting it could even make some leave. I don't know. Pulling up from a plant... Uh, that's a little hard to do, but it is not hard to not build a plant in Alabama and go to Mississippi instead. That's an easy fix, uh, and the state better get on the stick here because we are a little bit away uh, from this conversation actually meaning that there will be a vote, and that vote as of right now will probably overwhelmingly pass. What is the play here? The UAW has been very successful in getting their message out and telling these people they can help them. They look at the big three uh, strike that we had uh, earlier. We had a conversation there, and there's a reason why they say they can get them better money, because they did. Simply, they did. So we have to have people making the argument that the union coming into the state of Alabama is going to be a net negative for the state. Tim Ernest works at the Mercedes-Benz plant in Vance. He's been there almost from the beginning. It is a very large economic engine for the state of Alabama. And we don't need an outside influence coming in and trying to change that. Fair to say you're planning to vote no. 100%. And that's one thing that kind of scares me is that if this is come brought in, that we will lose a lot of good jobs. We'll lose a lot of new cars that we would probably get. They would, wouldn't invest it here. They would invest it somewhere else. They have to make the argument that no more auto workers or automakers will come into the communities. You got to make the argument that their jobs could eventually go. You have to get that message to them. Is the state of Alabama doing a good enough job doing that? And the answer to that is no. They're not. No, they can't go through the traditional media because the traditional media is leftist, and that's just the way it is. They're going to support anything that they think is on the left, and that's fine. And they'll call this a big victory and all these other things, and then we will stop having uh, automakers and others come into the state. This will have a profound impact. This will be uh, the beginning of the end of Alabama's industrial boom. Now, these individuals believe they may benefit. Great. Good luck. I hope you do. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, uh, we are killing the golden goose here that has brought a lot of jobs into this community over the last 20 plus years. That is not a smart play. Someone's got to be able to convince those people voting at that plant in Vance, Alabama, that that's true. And as of right now, running Kay Ivey and Nathaniel Ledbetter, the Speaker of the House and the Governor, out there to do it is not going to get the job done. What is the plan? Where is the plan here? What is the state of Alabama doing? 